Hello and welcome back to the Cove with more EU4 Angle of File achievement. We are in the middle of a war and it's uh, going to be an interesting one. Turns out the Commonwealth, as little manpower as they do have, happen to have money. And so they've gone ahead and purchased themselves a good 100,000 mercenaries at the very least. So what we're doing at the moment is we're going to go ahead and take a couple of sieges from them. See if we can get some good defense, uh, not necessarily good defensive ports but uh, anything to impede their ability to make their way around the land and then we're going to go hunting for some of their smaller stacks as they take attrition so that's today's plan and so that's what we're going to go ahead and do uh we do have a fair bit of cash on us so we should probably go ahead and spend some of it i think uh cairo you know what what have we got here institution spread that could be nice we will have another one of those coming in a couple of years and then yeah we gain even more at the top and extra i uh what is that possible advisors is nice and idea cost is also not too bad either so let's go ahead and upgrade that that seems fairly easy let's go uh let's spend some money let's do a couple and see just how much we can get done uh well you know what that'll do seem to have the exact right amount of cash march 26 of 46 yep that was uh the other day so we'll be done uh actually do these guys have Ooh, we have military access okay you know what we should do we should see if we have any unrest uh let's go hmm. unrest at the moment is minus 100 i don't think we really have to worry about anything in this in that regard uh let's go hang on a second uh, let's make sure that we have the right map mode. Yeah, unrest is minus 93. Uh, let's see, war exhaustion, intolerance, separatism. I don't think this is going to be an issue. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, recent uprising. Look, it could be a bit of an issue, but realistically, as soon as it flips religion, I'm fairly sure that that intolerance of minus, yeah, of plus... Uh, 1.93 should switch over to what minus seven at the very least yeah i think we'll be fine uh we'll go ahead and where do we want to roam you know what i don't even know if it's worth doing could work our way up into the steps uh, back around there but there's no chance of ever being able to rendezvous with them let's go Actually, no, we... Okay, hang on a second. Do we have a path of access? I don't think we would. You know what? Those 27,000 men can stay there for now. That'll be fine. However, it, in the last episode, we did go ahead and build up a stack of artillery and a couple thousand of our frontline infantry. So we'll go ahead and get them ready and we'll bring them on in. If we have good enough numbers it won't matter we will be able to absolutely obliterate them in the fight all right looks like uh influence over augsburg has expired let's go ahead and renew i think that'll be fine sweden has accepted peace from augsburg okay they're white pieced out i suppose that's fine and then yeah, that'll be fine. All right, we'll keep that as is. Uh, that's all right that we've lost one of our members in this war. Uh, we will be all right. All right, it looks like Castile has 37,000 troops rolling on by. Hopefully they don't get caught out, but uh, only time will tell. All right, looks like we have some corruption. Let's go. Uh, we're going to accept the stability loss, I think. I like having the government reform progress, and that's a good two years, and I'd really like to get this final one so let's go ahead and try and eradicate the problem we will lose the stability but we're going to go ahead and purchase that right back we have the administrative clout to be able to do such things yeah only 175 i think that is perfectly reasonable let's go ahead and stab right back up and uh yeah that's what we shall do all right so uh their mercenaries and their men should be slowly dwindling to the uh attrition uh, Siege of Warsaw is over. Okay, cool. Fantastic. 70,000 men. Let's go. 
Uh, where do we want to move to next? You know what? We need that fort as well. Let's pull you back. Uh, we have their capital, so that should make them a little bit easier to uh, bring to the peace table. Uh, let's see, yeah. If we check out our peace agreement, this is what we kind of came to the conclusion of last time. Summer land, and uh, we're going to try and release Hungary and a couple of others. But for now, I think that should be fine. Let's go... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just see how we do. Um, I was... Oh, that's right. We we're going to check to see how much that increases the numbers. Uh, the answer is... We check here... Oh, what's that? Reasons. There we go. Uh, not much. Okay, well, either way. At least it's not counting against us for now. Let's go ahead and set... Ooh, 30,000 men. That is a very tempting opportunity, and they seem to be fairly far away. Teach of Stockholm is over. Okay, fine, they can take that back. Uh, let's go... That is forest. They will have the defensive territory. They have more men moving on in, but they seem fairly far away. Could we get there in time? Only one way to find out. Let's go force march and dive right on in. Uh, we outnumber them fairly significantly. Hopefully, just hopefully, we can get there before the rest of that doom stack comes our way. Because if we can keep... If we can take a fight while they are at reduced numbers, that is what we need. Oh, and it looks like they're heading further away, so let's move on up. Uh, on if we can take this fight, yes we can. Sweet, we have cornered them. Alright, let's slow it down just a second, and let's compare our numbers now. Oh, uh, we did pick up a new morale fellow, so we have much better morale at this point. Looks like they've dropped a little bit as well in the morale standings. But uh, their discipline is still better. But the good news is we have a very full backline. They do not, so we should be doing catastrophic amounts of damage. Uh, let's see. Colony self-sustaining. That is excellent. And we have expelled more of a minority. That's not too bad. Alright, so you know what? Before I forget too much more, let's go ahead and uh, set that colonist to do what we need. Let's go... Uh, gonna have to fight Portugal at some point. They have a fair bit of land here. And what's this? Fighting Argentina. That's, uh, that is uncool. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight and get that back for them. All right, well, we'll do that in the future. Let's go. Uh, let's just go ahead and send ourselves a new colonist over there. Let's expel the Irish. We do plan on getting that done before we get to the end. Uh, let's go go with people from Cork. That should be good enough as is. Uh, let's also send... Uh, let's see. Still being settled, still being settled, no longer being settled. We'll bring you up over there just to make sure. Alright. Very good. Let's focus... Oh, wait a second. Uh... Oh, Swedish Brazil, right, that's who is occupying things. Right, I didn't uh, think about that, did I? And it looks like, uh, yeah, we're going to need to uh, take them out. That being said, though, that could actually be rather beneficial. Swedish Brazil with fairly minimal numbers, we should be able to go ahead and get a few kills there. That would certainly help us out as far as our war score is concerned. Yep, and Castile is doing good work there. All right. You know what? That is that is quite good to see. Alright, fantastic. Alright, so either way, uh, here we go. Siege of Kohlberg is over, so that'll open up a little bit of extra land. Uh, let's work our way to that fort there, make sure that we have a smooth path to uh, taking down what we need. Let's go ahead and send our mercenaries to take that occupation, since we may as well while we're here. And there we have it. We have won another battle. So our uh, four six general doing an incredibly good job there against theirs. Uh, let's see, 5,000 men for a trade of about 13, 14,000. I will happily accept. Uh, let's make sure that we keep on top of things. Let's go. Let's see, grasslands, woods. 
I think we go down into the forest. We'll turn off the Force March. That should be fine. And uh, we'll try and get that occupation back and get a little bit of extra vision onto the Commonwealth. Oh, and it looks like they're moving into Berlin. Yeah, they're uh, retreating back through that way. Okay, so that's fine. Bar's still in the fight. 35,000 Commonwealth are here fighting Trier as well. Yeah, we're just going to have to uh, take our time and take advantageous fights where we can get them. Uh, let's also go ahead and make sure that we get this. Uh, if we can uh, take that siege as quickly as possible, that would be ideal. We need to have a clear line of communication for our troops. And uh, if we're going to try and reinforce and take on big fights, we definitely need that. So uh, let's just make sure we keep on working on those. 35% there. Unfortunately, we're not making too much progress. Uh, they are coming back in decent numbers. How many days until? 38 days? Oh man, this, their defensiveness is quite good. You know what? We're going to spend more, more military power. I know it's probably not the best use of our power. We could be developing our nation, but at the same time too, I think it is more important that we have a very good uh, capacity to uh, reinforce and take good battles when they approach. All right, looks like uh, more natives have risen up, but again, not an issue for us. Uh, Rupert, are they in this fight? No, they are not. Okay. Well, uh, let's go up over there. You guys over here. Let's travel. Let's travel up over there. That should be fine for now. Uh, looks like Trier have had to retreat from that previous one. Oh, and they've taken back Warsaw. Okay. Well, they're coming in for the fight. Let's get ready. Let's go. Uh, you'll be moving that way. Let's bring... You know what? We're going to bring these 70,000 men straight up over here. I'm willing to uh, get them on the way quicker than... Uh, yeah, we, we need to get them up to the front lines, because if they do start to stack on, on us, we do need to take the uh, fight and uh, get our men in order. Alright, how are we doing? Siege is over, that is nice, that is good for us. Alright, let's also go ahead and, before I forget, we have a stack of troops over here. Uh, how many transports do we have? 73, so realistically we can just bring everybody over. Are we building up any more men? We should double check this. Uh, the answer is a resounding no. So, uh, we'll wait a couple of days. We'll bring them all over and reinforce our ranks. That should be incredibly good for us. Oh, let's also go ahead and... Wait, no. I guess that's just for conversions. We have autonomous missionaries. We will leave them be. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, focus on what we can get our hands on right at this second. Let's go, mercenaries, take that final one from Sweden. That would be quite nice if you could do that. And you, my friend, let's go... Uh, Sweden's going to start trying to take back some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and send our heavies there for now, just so they can't make their way back behind us and re-siege anything going to do what we can. Uh, let's also go ahead and... Oh, we have expelled another minority. Good riddance. That is good. Uh, let's grab these guys. We're going to bring them up over... over there. That should be fine. Let's go ahead and continue saying goodbye to the Irish. Hopefully, uh, we should be able to get rid of them all and not have to pay for an extra culture if all things go well. And uh, that's not too far off either. Alright, so, whereabouts are we? Not making much progress here. Uh, we should probably work our way towards Warsaw. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and march on Warsaw. That is only farmlands, so that should be fine. Let's bring our other big stack up there. You should be there. Let's bring all of these men. Uh, let's add a leader with some maneuver sure and so uh let's go let's drop them off over here that should be a okay and uh then we will reinforce our men before we go any further 
Alright, it does look like Castillo is also working on some sieges, which is quite nice. Alright, still no sign of their armies. So I suppose for now that's not a bad sign. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that we scorch the earth there. That will help us out. And it does appear that they have pieced out of the war with Russia. Okay, so they are in trouble. They are definitely in trouble. Oh, wait a second. No, sorry, never mind. They are still at war. I was looking at the wrong nation. Alright then. Uh, okie dokie. Just sit back and relax, take some occupations, and see what we can do. Let's bring... I have military leader has left us. That's unfortunate. We lose some sailors, but again, that is not a concern. Uh, let's bring these mercs up over here. Let's go over there. Let's bring these guys up over here. Oh, in fact, uh, I think that is our yeah, that is our big stack of cannons. So let's do a quick check as to see uh, what our combat width is. Thirty-four. Alright, where is our uh, 34? Let's go 25. So we need a good 9,000 cannons over there. Let's grab... Let's grab 9,000 cannons. We'll bring them up over there. That should do well. And then... Let's see, what do we need here? We need at least another 20,000 men. Otherwise, we're going to be uh, taken out. Uh, let's send another 34, that's uh, another 16, 18,000 cannons for this stack here. So 18,000 troops, let's go ahead and bring them on down. In fact, you know what, we'll get them to regroup over there. Another occupation is always worth taking. Alright, and we're just going to have to see how this goes for now. We will be traveling a little bit slowly as this war goes on. In fact, uh, you know what? They are slowly losing men and they're not reinforcing, so maybe we can afford to turn up the speed just a fraction and get some of these sieges done a bit quicker. All right, prestige seems fine. Let's go ahead and... Uh, hang on a second. Yep. Uh, let's see. Gain 20 prestige. All the excess prestige will be converted into each type of monarch power. Ooh, well, that's nice. Sure, that's an extra eight. That's a rather nice event there. That's quite nice. Let's also go ahead and pick up a church action. Let's go for... Uh, what do we want? Some extra reputation now that we're in the HRE. Probably not a bad thing. I don't think we are worried about the cash. Sure, let's go ahead and pick up the uh, reputation with those peoples. Uh, that should be good. There'll be uh, plenty of nations, I am sure. Uh, taking more occupations. I'm not seeing where the Commonwealth... Oh, there's 30, 40,000 of them over there. But I'm not too concerned, all things considered. So, uh, let's go... Uh, let's make our way up here and take on... Actually, you know what? Before we go, let's go ahead and scorch some of their earth. Just so we're applying some devastation to their to their uh, provinces, which will take some time for them to recuperate from. I would also go ahead and I think we're going to pair up our mercenaries with these guys. I think that will be fine. We have two full stacks with a full back line. That'll be fine. Uh, conversion successful. That's good. Oh, more minorities expelled. Well, you know what? Seems like we're doing pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess we're going to keep on balancing this war and our uh, colonial endeavours. Let's go... I suppose we should send them here. Yeah, I see no reason not to. Let's go ahead and uh, send him off there. Let's go ahead and send more Irish from... I am not sure how you pronounce that. Not? Not? I have no idea. Right, we'll spend you up over there just to make sure that uh, no one gets in the way of that. And let's keep on working on the sieges. Right, actually, uh, technology. We could afford a new one, but that's a year ahead. We'll wait the year. No really need 
to uh, to be picking that up right at this stage. We're not really hurting. Let's uh, maintain our situation though and uh, keep going with the occupations that we can get. Uh, more forts the better. In fact, we might even try and Oh man, I really wish we could see what's going on. In fact, you know what? We should be going ahead and building some spy network against these guys. That'll help counteract some of their defensiveness. Yeah, that would be quite nice. And if we check covert actions, is there a way we can re reveal reveal their map? That would be rather nice if that's an option. Uh, I can't remember. Steel maps, that's not useful. Spend emergence, recruitment. Uh, nope, that is not going to be a thing for now. In fact, I don't think it's a thing in general. Oh well, we'll just have to let it be. I feel like it has happened in one of my games in the past, but I'm not 100% sure how it happened. Maybe it was from a... from a... Uh, an event that would have happened. Who knows? Right, let's see. What else is going on here? Commonwealth have some men over there. In fact, they are up around... Ooh. You know what? Maybe that's worth attacking. Go ahead and chuck a general on here. Uh, I think we can afford another one. I'm fairly sure we can. So let's pick up a new one. A 3443. Three. That is quite acceptable. Let's bring you down here. Let's go... I'm heading for Poznan, so let's go ahead and meet them in the field. Let's go. Ah, yes. We'll select these mercenaries. We will attach them to the army of Scotland. And we will try and catch them out. That would be quite nice. Yeah, 30,000 men. That would be a very nice pack if we could get that. Oh, and it looks like they're bailing. Phenomenal. All right. Uh, let's go 28... Now that we're there, let's quickly stop and force march. We want this to be a decisive victory. We want to do as much damage to their militaries as possible. Alright, so so far so good. We're doing not too bad. 12,000 men have decided not to... not to rebel. Uh, yeah, we don't really need to worry about them for now. That's fine. That'll just be a uh, hazard to the... Uh, to the Swedish there. There we go. Alright, another battle in our favour. That's what we're after. Only 8,000 losses. They did take less than us, but every little fight will count. In fact, ah, oh, darn it. We need to swing this back our way. That is not ideal. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. We'll catch that at that 12th stack. That is what we are after. Another decisive victory is always what we are after. Uh, let's see. Defender against the Defender of the Faith against uh, them. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, let that be. Let's go ahead and crush. Uh, another siege is over. This is ideal. Let's bring you up over there. Uh, in fact, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll pull off the... We'll pull off the mercenaries. We'll scorch another, four, uh, another province that's out of zone of control of each port so that will help us and then uh yeah let's bring let's bring our transports up over here and then our yeah there we go we'll bring our heavies up in here that should mean when we do pop this navy out we should be able to take another good battle all right how are we doing uh nice and decisive i think so also, we do need to double check. Morale of armies. Did we get anybody better? Ooh, discipline. That's not a bad call. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Uh, discipline. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. We, we have been hemorrhaging our men in the battles. So, anything to help us recoup would be better. There is a stack vibe. And that has lost them all ticking war score. That is what we wanted. Let's go. Uh, where can we bring you guys next? You seem to be heading in this direction. So let's go ahead and follow you down. Uh, we should be able to get ourselves some... Oop. 
Uh, probably forgot to turn off that, uh, turn off that force mark. Let's bring... Uh, let's see. Where is the fort? No, there's no fort here, but there is one there. Let's bring, uh, everybody else off of that siege. Uh, you are attached to the army of Scotland, so let's just quickly see. Yep, there we go. Let's, uh, bring you back a province. Let's not take unnecessary attrition. As much as, uh, attrition is a thing that we do have to contend with, it's best not to take anything unnecessarily. Let's go ahead and uh, keep on scorching. The more we can hurt their economy, the better for the next time when we return against them. Let's also go ahead and we'll take a, uh, another... Oh! Uh, here's... Like they're coming our way. 30,000 men against our 32. They do get an advantage. Uh, we do outnumber them, but they're going to need a reinforcements. Mercenaries, dive on in. Uh, secondary army, follow one up. Hopefully that helps. And, uh, oh, there's 26,000 men. Oh. So very delicious and so far out of reach. That is horrible. We just wanted to destroy that thing. Completely, uh, take them out. Still no sign of them trying to siege down any more of our lands, which is ideal. Um, yeah, our friends, our friends are still doing all right. Uh, yeah, so I'm not really sure what's happening there. I guess they're just trying to decide whether fighting Russia is a good idea. Oh, they've pieced out with Russia. Okay, that makes sense. Looks like they took a little bit of land there, so I'm guessing that's where their armies have been. Uh, let's make sure... Ooh, they are going to outnumber us. Uh, let's see. 21st of July. We'll scorch it. It's probably far too late for that to have any real benefit, but we will take what we can get. We'll be there in a couple of days. Hopefully we can hold out. And uh, it looks like our naval battle is going well, so that's good. And there goes the Commonwealth flagship. Hoorah. Alright, and in fact, we backwiped their navy. That is phenomenal. Alright then, well, since we've got that done, let's bring some of these other ships up over here. And, uh, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and give you a mission. Let's select you and say, Hent, not hunt enemy fleets up here in the Baltic. Yep, that is what we are after. So, uh, we'll chase down all of those little Swedish, uh, people. Oh, and there is 50,000 of the Commonwealth. Okay, that makes a bit of sense. Well, the good news is that means they've split up, so they're not going to be as strong as normal. They're down 50,000 men, which is a pretty solid, uh, a pretty solid loss. Again, still no manpower for them to speak of, so that is helpful. Uh, let's go... No, we're just going to go ahead and barrage, because what else are we going to use that for? And it does look like we're going to be able to... Can we squeak out a victory? We won. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, that is hip hip bizarre. So glad we got that discipline advisor there. That would have definitely saved our bacon. All right, so uh, we're going to need to recoup. Uh, let's bring... Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to bring these guys back just a fraction. We'll grab our mercenaries and pull you back as well. Let's make sure we turn off the force march. I will also go ahead and we can siege. Let's go ahead and barrage. Uh, that will help us out. Now, when we do win a fight on an offensive siege from the defender, that does count as a free tick. So... That will be most certainly very useful to uh, getting ourselves a better position. Oh, and I didn't even notice that that is... Is that a defensive fort there? It is. That's in woods. So we did a fantastic job at being able to take that fight there. All right, now it does appear that we have another um, parliamentary issue to get ahead and uh, deal with. So let's focus on that. 
Maybe we can find something that will help us out in this war. Uh, global settlers, nobility and growth reform progress. Uh, let's see, trade power. Now uh, let's see, starters, let's go. Colonial taxation is foolish, I think. Let's go global trade. Military power, you know what? Yearly army tradition decay and all isn't the end of the world. Ooh, 100,000 manpower. Well, that is nice. Uh, sure, do we just take 100,000 manpower? That would make sure that we never fall into the hole and we could continue our waging war ways. Just stay a little bit further. Sure, oh, let's grab the manpower. Free manpower is uh, awfully nice. So let's go ahead and uh, let's dish out some... Oh, a little bit of inflation. We can pay that down here at our leisure. Uh, two government reform growth. How close are we? 1st of November. October, November. Wait a second. We're in October. That is the 1st of November we can do this? Oh, cool. Well, we'll come back and do that right after because if we have none, we can't lose any. Uh, we can afford a bribe. That's only like a month's worth. Free mill power. That is fine by me. Let's go. Let's ignore a little bit of corruption. What have we got? More inflation is perfectly acceptable. Administrative res uh, support for free power is also agreeable. Single prestige. Oh, and we've already passed it. Well, never mind that. Uh, that is pretty good. All right, so you know what? Uh, as soon as we get this fort here, we're going to quickly go ahead and see if we can take out that 20 stack. I think that would be rather nice. Uh, yeah, we should do well. These guys will have a chance to recuperate. Yeah, I think we will be in the clear. All right, and there goes that siege. We did win that. That is fantastic. You know what? And uh, just looked at the time. It's probably time for this to end. But before I forget, we've got a fair bit of cash in our coffers. So let's go ahead and make the most of it. Uh, we could probably go ahead and upgrade the university. No, we are converting that. All right. I guess we won't do that then. Let's go for trade investments. That seems ideal. We'll quickly finish those off before I forget. Uh, we'll do all of those and then we'll repeat that as well. Every little bit does count. And then what do we want to finish with? Yearly army tradition and trade value modifier goes up in the region. Naval force limit. Hmm. I think what we do is what do we want land force limit again trade steering is probably what's best for us mind you if we got good army tradition that will give us extra siege ability so if we can prevent some decay it's probably not the end of the world so let's go ahead and try that out we'll uh oops. we'll uh, go ahead and do those uh yes that is the right one uh and we cannot afford more at this stage so oh no uh we've just run out of location so let's go ahead and spend some more money uh let's grab manufactories let's go with a 0.73 that is quite remarkable we'll grab let's see how are we doing for trade we could do a couple yeah we'll grab that for paris and the other let's go governmental wise fives and fours we'll get to those threes later uh, production wise we can go ahead and grab a bunch in fact uh, yeah we'll spend the rest of our money there because all of those will just keep on reinvesting into our economy and i think we'll come back and uh see how this plays out in the next one we've definitely turned the tide we are doing quite well uh everybody seems to be on incredibly low war enthusiasm which is incredibly good nice uh luckily for us sweden is still medium so they'll still want to keep on fighting for a bit longer and we won't get that really pesky cool piece. So if you don't want to see this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.